Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the given matrix A. First, we have to write the characteristic equation. There are two methods. First, let's discuss the first method. In first method, we are going to use the equation that is lambda square minus S1 lambda plus S2 equal to 0 where S1 is nothing but sum of the main diagonal elements. So from here we find S1 is 7 and S2 is nothing but the value of the determinant A. For finding the determinant A we have to multiply the leading diagonal 5 2s are 10 minus we have to multiply the other elements which is 4 therefore we get 6. So from this we get the characteristic equation lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. We got a quadratic expression product is 6 sum is minus 7. So this is nothing but lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 6 equal to 0. We get two values for lambda 1 and 6. So this is the eigen value and we have another method. In another method we use determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0. So a minus lambda i is a matrix and we have to find the determinant value and equate to 0. Now we have a which is nothing but the matrix 5, 4, 1, 2 and lambda let's keep as it is and i is identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. When I multiply lambda inside, we get 5, 4, 1, 2, first matrix as it is, minus of lambda, 0, 0, lambda. Now, when I subtract, it will become 5 minus lambda, then 4 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 2 minus lambda. So, I could have written straight away in the leading diagonal, minus lambda and we could have got the characteristic equation. Now this determinant value 5 minus lambda 4 1 2 minus lambda that equate to 0. Now to find the determinant value it is 5 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda then minus 4 equal to 0 and expand this 5 is 10 then minus 5 lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda square minus 4 equal to 0. So totally lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. So we got the same equation lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. After factorizing this we get lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 6 equal to 0. We got two values for lambda 1 and 6. So using two methods we got the eigenvalues. So in this case the method one is shorter but anyway both the method will be the same eigenvalues. Now coming to the second part we have to find the eigenvectors. So we got the eigenvalues 1 and lambda. Let's take the eigenvector x as x1 x2. Now we have to take a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. a minus lambda i already we calculated here. 5 minus lambda 4 1 2 minus lambda. So this is a matrix. 5 minus lambda is the first element. Then 4 then 1 then 2 minus lambda into x1 x2 equal to 0. Now first value when lambda equal to 1. So we got two values here 1 and 6. Let's take the first value. When I put lambda as 1 here this will become 4 and next element is 4 next is 1 and here it will be 1 and into x1 x2 equal to 0. 
when you multiply this we get 4x1 plus 4x2 equal to 0 then x1 plus x2 equal to 0 we get two equations actually both are same equation so i'll take the simplest one x1 plus x2 equal to 0 so from this x1 equal to minus x2 so this can be written as x1 by 1 equal to x2 by minus 1 so we got the values of x1 and x2 so the eigenvector is 1 and minus 1 similarly when lambda equal to 6 so once again i have to take this 5 minus lambda for this matrix 5 minus lambda 4 1 2 minus lambda and we have to multiply with eigenvector x1 x2 and on the other side it is 0 when i put lambda 6 i'll get minus 1 4 1 when i put 6 here i'll get minus 4 and matrix closed and into x1 x2 equal to 0 when we multiply this minus x1 plus 4 x2 equal to 0 and second equation x1 minus 4 x2 equal to 0 both are once again same equation just the signs are opposite so let's take the first equation or second equation let's take the second equation x1 equal to 4 x2 and from this x1 by 4 equal to x2 by 1 so we got the values of x1 and x2 which is nothing but 4 and 1 so we got two eigen vectors corresponding to the two eigen values even this is x1 x2 equal to 1 and minus 1 and another vector is 4 and 1